Welcome to WBUGZ, The Bug Report, your source for Ashes of Creation bug identification. I'm your host, It's Zooks. The first Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 weekend has come and gone, leaving many bugs in its wake. Our field researchers spent the weekend documenting their experience. Here are some of the bugs that stuck out. Our first bug was right at spawn, locking us in place, unable to move. The next bug was not actually a bug, but a change from the pre-alpha. They moved these workstations. We thought they weren't loading in. There's a bug where if you pull a mob from an event and drag it outside the boundary of the event and kill it, the event won't complete. Sometimes when you close your map, an idiot named Zillin and their buddies Holy Fuse and Taxi will show up in PKU and loot your corpse and give you 150 XP debt, spawn you back in the laggy starting area. Jokes aside, this was the one and only time our researchers were ever ganked. Sometimes abilities don't fully activate when you first use them, working correctly on the second input. Not sure if this is a game bug or a connection issue. Some mobs spawn high above the terrain. As a ranger, it's an easy kill, but can't loot the corpse. Mana regeneration is either bugged or purposefully slow to regen. Sitting helps, but it's still extremely slow. There's a bug where recently deceased mobs will slide around. It's like their AI has queued a bunch of pathfinding. Sometimes attacks won't hit a mob at all. We're not sure if this is a game bug or a connection issue. Mob aggroing and pathing in general seems a bit buggy. It's hard to tell if you're aggroing nearby mobs because the response is so delayed. There is a bug where both weapons are gaining experience even though only one is being used. A frustrating one is that when interacting with a gathering node, it doesn't register the first interact input. Range can cheese monsters by getting to terrain the mobs can't path to. Lastly, there is parkour without the satisfaction of parkour. The experience was a positive one for our bug catchers. This phase of the testing is geared towards stability. As such, there was a lot of connection issues and crashes. And the finale was a DDoS attack. All good things for Intrepid to get feedback on. That's all for the bug report. Overall, our researchers enjoyed their time in Alpha 2 and enjoyed reporting bugs to Intrepid. Our goal for next weekend is to hunt down terrain and graphical bugs. We look forward to reporting next weekend's bugs. That's it for the bug report. Good hunting, everyone, and remember, slash bug.